Hello and welcome to Windsor Park which tonight hosts the Electric Ireland Women's Challenge Cup final between Crusaders and Glentor. Promises to be a very, very close affair tonight. Those sides of course have met just last week and it took penalty kicks before Glentor were eventually made champions. So Zoe, who are you backing tonight? Oh, I always go for an underdog, so I'm, I'm going to go for Crusaders tonight. They came very, very close the last time, obviously, in penalties, and I just think they'll want a wee bit of revenge. So, Crusaders for me. OK, well, if you're going to back Crusaders, I'm going to have to go for Glen Torn. Many down to their experience. A lot of class international players in there, and I think, to be honest, experience will just be enough, and we'll secure them the treble. We will see. Anyhow, let's go inside, see how the game turned out. Let's head back into Windsor Park and see the match highlights. Yes, first of all, congratulations on a fantastic win tonight. Your thoughts on that one? Thanks very much. Um, yeah, it was a fantastic win for us. We knew it was going to be a really tough game. 
Crusaders, um, you know, are, are such a such a good team and so hard to break down. Um, and we knew we had to be at our best tonight if we wanted to come away with the win. We were delighted with the performance in terms of you know keeping the ball and having possession of the ball. But you know we knew going in at one 0 you know it wasn't enough, and we had to keep pushing and keep pushing and get the second goal to make it a wee bit more comfortable. But um, fantastic to win the treble and a fantastic night and fantastic performance. You almost scored before the goal was counted as one hit the bar and obviously quite clearly over the line. Did you think maybe at that stage? Maybe it's not going to be our night. Yeah, I mean, when, when stuff like that happens, you know, you're obviously disappointed that you know some decisions aren't going your way. But we knew we had the character within us that we were going to, you know, keep going and keep going, and, and, and another chance would come. And thankfully, it did through Julie, and, and she took her goal fantastically. Yeah. Um, you know, and we knew we had the quality within our side that there was goals in us. Um, but it was just being patient. You know, Crusaders are a very, very strong defensive team. Um, so it was just being patient, and when our, the opportunity came around, we knew we had to take it. Two consecutive travels is a pretty remarkable feat. Where does Glen Torn go from here? Yeah, well, you know, that was the goal at the start of the season, to win as many trophies as possible. And we took it each game at a time and thankfully we've got to the end of the season now with all three trophies and uh, we'll take a well earned rest now, um, you know, and start to rebuild and look forward to next season. But um, you know, we know next season we're gonna to have to really step our game up again because that's just the way the women's game is going now that uh, each team is, is really competitive and yeah. we can't be complacent anymore and you know we'll look to build again in, in the winter um, and hopefully come out stronger again next season. And with the Brighton Centre is a nice quiet night ahead of you? Uh, well, I don't know if it'll be nice and quiet. Um, there might be a few sore heads tomorrow but I think it's it's been a long season and I think the girls deserve um, a good night tonight. We talk about game changers and obviously now your history makers repeating the treble. No other club has ever done that. How does that feel? It's great, you know, I think for us international players as well, it gives us a good um, gives us good momentum going into the international break. Obviously we're playing in England in a week's time, so it just boosts the confidence of a lot of the players because a lot of us play for the national team. And we all know Billy Clark is a stalwart and a legend at the club. What, what will that mean to him tonight to see he's lifting that cup and repeating the travel? That will mean a lot to Billy, a lot to everybody within the club. You know, again, we set out to win all three and, you know, we had to push. Um, you know, they gave us a good test last week and we knew it wasn't good enough. Um, so we came out and we knew what we had to do. And Chloe, celebrations planned tonight? Quiet one or maybe a few. <laughs> um, I think it has to be quiet for the international ones just because we go in in the camp quite soon. But I think after that we'll all gather together and you know bring it back up. Chloe, thank you so much and massive thank congratulations you. again. Well done. OK, so that completes our coverage of the Electric Ireland Women's Challenge Cup final and a massive congratulations to our winners going to Oran. Yes, indeed. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch today's show. The next time, we'll be at Wembley Stadium in London for the Lionesses who take on the Northern Ireland ladies and that should be a special night. So we look forward to seeing you all again once then. Until then, it's a good night from Windsor Park and bye for now.